you. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. God damn. I did it big this year. From cable, nigga, god damn. Thanks for coming out and thanks for making a nigga feel comfortable in the gayest place on earth. <laughs> you guys got Disney World jealous out this motherfuckers. Man, I didn't really think it was that gay at first. I was like, what is everybody? Because when I was coming out here, everyone was like, man, that place is really gay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is everybody talking about? It's not so gay. And then I, I wandered into that Castro. God damn. Was, I said, this is America's anus right here. This, is, this shit is deep. Went to that tenderloin. There's nothing tender about that motherfucker at all. It's, that shit was rough. The opposite of tender. I have never seen crack smoke so casually before. These niggas was sitting in front of Starbucks smoking crack and drinking coffee. I said, this is off the hook. Talking about politics. I seen one crackhead trying to break into somebody's car, man, and it struck a chord with me. I tried to stop him. I said, hey! And he looked back and saw me and said, oh, keep an eye out. I said, nigga, that was me that said that. I'm not trying to help you. I want this shit to stop. Crackheads are like that. I had a crackhead break my car window one time. Broke it! You know what he stole? Fucking candy bar I had lying on the seat. That's all he took. It's a goddamn candy bar. I was so mad. I drove around the neighborhood for five hours looking for a crackhead with chocolate on his face. I, I did that. I finally found when I grabbed that motherfucker and said, Hey man, what's all this chocolate on your face, motherfucker? He looked confused. Chocolate? This is doo-doo, baby. I said, ah! Oh, man. This place is insane. But you know what I like about San Fran and the reason I picked this city to do my special is because it's, of all the major cities in America, somehow people get along here better than anywhere else I've seen in the country. That's right. That's right. And I always admired San Fran for that. And today I realized how you did it. Put all the niggas on the other side of that bridge. There's nothing, this shit ain't happy on that side. <laughs> you leave San Francisco like, bye, thanks for coming to San Francisco. Come back in April, we're having a sale on Birkenstocks. As soon as you get to the other side, welcome to Oakland, bitch. It's fucking crazy, but it, it also would feel like it's the East Coast city in the West Coast. You guys got subways and shit. I'm scared of public transportation. I was on a bus that was held hostage. 45 minutes. It wasn't life threatening. I don't want to give you that impression. It was a dude jerking off, but the shit was scary, son. It was scary. Right before it happened, I was on the bus smoking a cigarette. It's a long story. That's not the coolest shit I ever did. And people freaked out. <coughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir, put that goddamn cigarette out, okay? This is everybody's air, sir. I flicked it. I didn't want any trouble. And just at that moment, coincidentally, this homeless dude out of nowhere pulls his dick out. Started beating off. And I was furious. Cause nobody said shit to this guy. They were just looking like, oh my God. I was the only one on the bus that had the balls to say anything to him. And it's not even like I was brave, really. It was that, you know, I was sitting next to the motherfucker. I had to say something. <laughs> Come on, dog, you hit my elbows. Stop, <laughs> son, stop. That's all I said. I, was, I didn't want to say too much. The guy's beating off on the bus it means there's something wrong with this motherfucker. He, he's not wrapped so tight. I didn't want to push him over the edge. As soon as I said something, all these dummies on the bus, now they're brave. <sighs> he's right. 
put your goddamn cock away. I don't want to see this anymore. I don't want to see it either. Yeah! Now the guy flips out. All right, everybody, back up. Back the fuck up. I tried to be nice about this. Now everybody freaks out. Oh my God, it's a biological attack. Oh. I'm caught in the middle. I can't lose my cool. I said, hey, everybody, just calm the fuck down or you're going to get me shot. So I'll just be cool. Let's do what this man says so he'll leave us alone. Now everybody gets quiet. <sighs> That's better. That is better. <laughs> and then he started walking up and down the aisles. He was terrorizing us. And then he starts making demands. You in the pink shirt. Squeeze your tits together. Oh, oh God, no. No. You, stick your finger in your butt. Why? Oh, God, why is this happening? Oh, God. Oh, God. He was working my way. Shit was tight. Just that minute. I got saved, dudes. I was so lucky. This guy at the other end of the bus, he snapped. He lost his mind. I seen it happen. Ah! He screamed out, rush him! He can't come on all of us and charge him out. Ah! And it was like a movie. This homeless dude seen him coming and shot one off. Ah! I dodged that shit like the Matrix. Niggas, oh. The guy behind me wasn't so lucky, y'all. No! Oh! <laughs> that shit was gross. It didn't kill him, but it was... I'm sure that fucked his day up. You're not gonna have a normal day if the homeless dude busts a nun on your forehead at 8.30 in the morning. That's a wrap on the rest of the day. Ah! This guy was freaking out. It burns! Oh! 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 Everyone was standing around looking at them. Even the homeless dude felt bad. <laughs> I guess he was finished. He came back to his senses. <sighs> oh, this is my stop. <laughs> I said, relax, motherfucker. I had to say something. Relax! Oh, I can't. I got AIDS. I know it. I said, you can't get AIDS from a homeless dude busting a nut on your forehead. That's not how it spreads. I don't even know if that's just true. That's just what I told him, man. Is that he was so scared I had to say something. I don't know where AIDS comes from. Who the fuck knows? Scientists don't even know. Scientists still say AIDS started because somebody had sex with a monkey. Word. <laughs> After all this research, this is the best explanation that you came up with, mother. Nobody fucks monkeys and people, you idiot. You either fuck monkeys or you fuck people. That's it. There's no in-between. You're not going to get some monkey pussy on Tuesday and then be like, oh, let me call Charlene on Thursday. No. Once you fuck a monkey, that's a firm decision. I'm out of the human pussy game for good. It's ridiculous. You act like monkeys are just as open as waiting for people to fuck them, man. It's ridiculous. The monkeys don't want to be fucked by people. Think about it. Think how hard it would be to catch a monkey and fuck it. That's ridiculous. That's how it had to go down. Who do you think you're just gonna walk up to him in the woods and bribe this nigga with uh, fruits and bananas? And say, hey, buddy, hey. Yeah, there you go, buddy, yeah. Yeah. There you go, your big, bright red ass. <laughs> it's big, bright red booty. You know how strong a monkey is? Would rip your dick off like a celery stalk. Just psh, Throw that shit in the tall grass to never be seen again. 
Hey, dog, we're going to go to the club, pick up some girls. You trying to roll? Nah, man, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm going to stay home, dog. Chill with my monkey. <laughs> you know how long it took me to train this monkey to suck my dick <laughs> without peeling it? Mm. Last night, Chim Chim jerked me off with his feet. Nigga, only a monkey can show you that kind of love and tenderness. So y'all can keep fucking these people if you want, niggas. Mo monkey pussy for me. Hooking up with an orangutan next week. That's all I fuck is chimps and orangutans. You know who I feel real bad for is, is Indians. Everybody feels bad for Indians. They get dog. They get dogged openly, because everybody thinks they're dead. These motherfuckers are not all dead, all right? I've seen, with my own eyes, I've seen a gathering of 1,500 Native Americans. They were all gathered in one place. The place is called um, Walmart in New Mexico. <laughs> There's Indians there. I'd never seen Indians before. I wasn't even sure if they were Indians. It's fucked up, but I, I asked one of them. It's not nice, but I seen him in the sports section looking at bows and arrows. I had to say something, oh, excuse me. I, I don't mean to be rude. Um, are you an Indian? And he was cool. Yes. Yes, I'm Indian. Still didn't believe him. I had to test him to be sure. This is fucked up. But I had a gum wrapper in my pocket, so I balled that shit up and I threw it on the floor. And a single tear came out of his eye. I said, oh, shit. I had so many questions. So what tribe are you from? I am a Navajo. I said, word. I studied you in social studies. You're a hunter-gatherer, correct? He said, I guess so. That's what you wish to call it. I said, why? What do you call it? He said, I am an alcoholic. <laughs> I said, well, what's your name, dog? He said, please. Dog is my cousin. That was a good guess. My name is Running Coyote. What is your name, friend? And that shit caught me off guard. I mean, I didn't want to say my name was Dave to a motherfucker named Running Coyote. This don't feel good enough. He just put me on the spot. I said, huh? My name, what? Oh, my name's uh, Blackfeet. 